Hi, hi guys. So my name is Grace. To those who doesn't know me, and this reading will be about what blessings are coming your way before 2018 ends. So let's see. Before this 2018 ends, I will get four cards here from this deck, so you can choose. This one will be for one, two, three, and um, four. So you can now choose your cards and head on the timestamp. Okay, so once you've chosen your card, you can head on the timestamps and I will do the reading now. So, for the people who picked card number one, the guidance for you is disconnect. Go underground for a while. I feel like contemplation um, will really benefit you. This is for the last um for the last month november december whenever you watching this video this is what you need to do the guidance for you disconnect go underground for a while to be able to receive this um these blessings because i feel like it's something to do with I feel like you will be, um, there's a possibility that you can be abundant. I feel like it's something that is, because a 7 plus 1 is an 8. So for me, whenever I see that, some that's a material gain. It's not something physical. That's something tangible. Blessing that you can um, have before 2018 ends. And for you to be able to really not miss this blessing because sometimes we we get these blessings and um we it, it we don't really mean it but we we somehow take it for granted because we're we're too busy we're too busy about something else we're too busy looking at the future and we're not enjoying the present moment so that's why for you to be able to really um nourish this blessing and um, really enjoy this is for you to disconnect cut off um, maybe cut off social media for a while and just really enjoy this with um, with the closest friends and family really enjoy this occasion this holiday that's what I'm getting so let's see what else I'll get one card each deck. I didn't do one deck each card. So, in the past, it seems like um, you wanted to move forward with this chariot card or the fairy stallion, but it's in reverse. So, I feel like you weren't able to move forward in the past. You feel maybe feel stuck. What else? <sighs> yeah, because you're not in a hermit mode. You're not going... This is like basically hermiting mode with a disconnect and going underground for a while for you to be able to gain the wisdom. But um, at, the, at, the pre at the present moment, I feel like you're avoiding that. Or you feel like you don't have time to do that but that's uh, uh, that's for self care what else but i f i see five of pentacles in reverse so any financial things any material things especially financial i feel like it will be resolved and it could just be simply be you won't feel alone anymore because you're spending time with the people that are matter that matters the most it could be your family or just the people that are soul family 
because sometimes I feel like for some of you even though it's um like family doesn't have to be just blood relatives sometimes your blood relatives can be toxic too so that's why I say soul family the people that are really accept you and feel um you feel secure and safe within their presence what else is the possibility blessings coming your way the possibility of blessings coming your way before Ooh, okay this is the ending this is the um the world card it's not even just the world in this deck it's even the cosmos okay this could be union for some just saying out <laughs> um for the people that um resonates with the twin flame thing so maybe this could be that also but it's this is a like, final final ending and i feel like this is very very good card to have so it's like a story here because in the past we have here the fairy stallion um you weren't able to move forward you feel like you're ready but there's no movement um it might feel so slow and you might feel like well few years ago few months ago um this is where i am and right now you think you're still there where you are there's no changes but then it's happening for a reason because i feel like right now you are in the hermit mode in reverse so i feel like universe is also really pushing you to be able to go underground and disconnect for a while for you to be able to really gain the wisdom maybe this is um literally going on a holiday like if you if you feel you can afford that or i mean if it doesn't have to be really really um expensive but just basically um <laughs> going in hiding um uh, for a while to be able to um tend to yourself and um this is part of your self-care you're not moving because they want you to be able to go within yourself okay go within that's really the message here um i feel like this is for you to be able to really think of um i feel like the reason why you're not moving forward here in the past or you might feel like you're still not moving forward is because there are patterns there are habits that you need to really change and for you to be able to change that you need to identify them first because for you to be able to change your life and for you to be able to move forward and grow there are things that you need to let go of or disconnect from it could be situation or people or patterns just the programming in your head the things that you believe in those old beliefs that you need to release there are those things that you need to release and because if you don't release those those things those habits sometimes it's subconscious we don't really um notice it unless unless we really go within and analyze our actions and our reactions to to um situations around us how are we reacting how are we being triggered by people by situations and how are we going to be able to change that okay um it could also be thinking related to money because i feel like people that pick this card number one is also concerned about their material possessions about their material gains about all those things about security and you might feel alone right now because you need to do this alone on your own and this is important for you to do this on your own but it doesn't mean you, you you can't ask help from your guides your angels god you, of course you can ask for help assistance on this because what's coming is um this change this five of pentacles being now in reverse 
I feel like this is someone who's going away. It's like someone who said, I've gotten, I've had enough. I need to disconnect. This literally could be moving away. Look at how this is winter time. So I feel like it's starting around winter time. I mean, I feel like it's already snowing on some parts of the world. So, um, it's saying it's around winter time. Like, look at this hermit mode. The hermit is like, um, I always see this as like on a snowy, a snowy island or something. So look at how it's, there's like, it's still snowing here. And, um, I don't know, maybe you're on the cold part of the world. You don't have to be, but you might just feel cold towards other people or people might feel cold towards you because you're not, um, you're, I feel like you're standing your ground. You're not gonna, um, um, once you contemplate and you come out of this contemplation within this um before 2018 ends you're gonna be able to really um i feel like this is a blessing for you because this is you're gonna be able to get into a reset okay do you know when um i don't know if you notice this but if you meditate every day and you feel calm and peaceful but if you stop one day you're gonna get back to your old um your old way and you're gonna feel like um you're gonna start malfunctioning i myself feel that way if i don't um go back regroup and go within myself and um that's why it's very important to take this time to disconnecting and going underground for a while because now i've got energy to be able to do this reading all I did was sleep. So maybe resting, sleeping, it's all that you have to do. It's it's not that complicated. Okay, for you to be able, of course, to be able to get these um, blessings, there's something that you need to do, take action. And sometimes it's as simple as resting and sleeping, basically, to recharge. This is a time for recharge for you. And I feel like there will be some um, material gains and rewards from from um for you in this um before 2018 ends yeah um i feel like this achieving anything that you desire this could be travel because this is the world card but this is just not just the world this is the cosmos card the multi multi-dimensional universe I mean, this could be just not just traveling physically. It, it could be also be traveling astrally, like in other dimensions. <laughs> if you do that, that could be it. If you're um into those things, I mean, I feel like anyone can do it. But some people really do travel astrally, and I talk to most for so, to some people that actually do that. And um, yeah. I feel like this is, um, yeah, as I said, this could also be union. So let's see. What else is the guidance? What else is this about for group number one? Hmm. Okay. Organize for success. That's what you need to focus on right now. Planning. So sometimes you need to disconnect and go within and be on your own for you to be able to plan and for you to be able to organize. Okay, it's saying here, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Um, I feel guided to tell you about. Um, it's they say it's not about how much you earn, isn't it? It's how, how ab about. Um, it's about how you manage your money. And you might tell me, oh, I don't have enough money to manage, even just a dollar or a pound. You can. Ma you could you'll be able to manage it it doesn't matter how much and um i've just listened to this um to harv 
and there's this um six jars that she was um that he was talking about in his in his, uh, in most of his seminars so i don't know if you know about the harv ecker but um he's a multi multi-millionaire and he does this um i've been and um I'm doing this course online about money and spirituality. I'll just share this really valuable thing that I've learned um, with organizing your finances. Um, th so there's these six jars. First jar is your for your financial freedom. That's 10% of your um, how much you earn or salary. 10% for your um, first jar is your financial freedom. So you don't you never um you never spend that because that's how you can only spend the interest from that that's how that that's how you're going to be able to be financially free that's that's for saving for the future okay so th the second jar will be the long term savings account which is another 10% those are for the um, long-term savings that you need to save from. If you need to save from, um, for example, if you have debt if you, and you need to clear that debt, that's where you put the 10% part of your money every month or every time you get paid. And um, yeah, save that to be able to be to pay for your debt or something that you need, okay? Like a car or a house. And then f for the third jar, that would be um, what's the <laughs> what's the third jar? The third jar that would be because it's six jar. So financial freedom account. The second jar is the long term savings one. The third jar will be, there's a jar for education, a jar for giving, a jar for playing, and a jar for necessities. So, for your, anyway, I'll say how I remember it. For the third jar, that will be the, for the necessities. That would be for, actually, it's on my laptop, so I'll just look at it quickly. Because <laughs> I feel like it's very important. And this is just an extra that I've learned. Yeah, it's a jar for education. So another 10% for you to be able to, that's education. That's not, that doesn't mean like university things. Um, that will be for the long-term savings. Um, that will be for education. That will be for like buying courses, seminars for you to be able to improve your knowledge about things. Because for you to be able to save, for example, if you don't know uh, much about investing, maybe you could save up like a ten percent of your um, of your salary for you to be able to um, really explore, buy books seminars and all those things courses for you to be able to learn more and for you to be able to be able to keep your money because it doesn't matter how much you we um how much money comes your way if you're not going to be able to organize for your success you're, go you're not going to be able to keep it so i feel like this is important the fourth jar will be for your necessities that would be 55 percent of your total salary that's for the everyday, that's for the bills, for all those things, for everyday things, for food. And then the fifth jar will be for play. That would be 10%, another 10% from your money, which would be, um, it's like for me, that's the, the amount of money you can use for anything. Spend it on anything that you want on playing, which means for me, that's living living in the moment um, part of the the managing your money. That's the, that's the freedom. That's living in the moment because playing is important for your soul. So it doesn't matter like 
I mean, if you don't include play, like for how how he said it, like it could be like treating yourself to a massage, and um something like that. So, if you don't include, cause if you don't, it doesn't matter if you like your future, like you have, you are fine. Um, you have like money on your financial freedom account, but you don't have money on your. But you're not playing and living in the moment you will feel miserable so i feel like that's important and then the sixth jar is the give jar that that um he's suggesting five percent of your income to be able to donate to the causes that you um and to give to others that's the that's the fit and that's the sixth jar so I hope that made sense. <laughs> um, first jar, financial freedom jar. Second jar is the long-term savings jar. Third jar is for education. Fourth jar is necessities. Fifth jar is play. And sixth jar is giving. So yeah, that's just one tip for you. Um, I hope you got something out of this and thank you so much for watching and if you need more guidance all my details are down below and I love you so much I'm sending you love and light now that's already 21 <laughs> minutes <laughs> for the people who pick card number two it's saying you hold space in your heart, a space to be filled. So for people who picked card number two, um, this is about all about healing. This is all about forgiveness, forgiving yourself and forgiving other people. Forgiving yourself or uh, forgiving other people doesn't mean what they did is okay it just means because if you don't forgive it's like drink um drinking a poison and waiting for the other person to um to die <laughs> and um we don't want that so it's very important for you to be able to forgive and to um let does um so that those past things because it's already in the past those things you want it's not letting the past control you anymore okay because if you have bitterness in your heart you are gonna get you will gonna get um <laughs> can't even speak you'll keep attracting bitterness in your life that's just how it is what you focus on expands so if you focus on the negativity and all those things the resentment it expands okay so we should focus on forgiveness and positivity let's see what um what else is this about i'll just pick your cards queen of swords that makes sense i will explain that in a bit i'll just pick the four cards knight of pentacles in reverse the fool start of something new a clean slate Okay, we all need to do this restart clean slate especially if you're watching this before the full moon whenever you're watching this anyway that's important but if you're watching this before the full moon I mean full moon is really good full moon in Gemini in 22 22nd of November it's full moon is all for releasing letting go so that's you're gonna be able to start with the full before before 2019. New year, new start. Eight of discs in reverse. Okay. Hmm. 
so for me this is like a story it's for it's your past present the future and the po um, possibilities before 2018 ends so i feel like i have here the queen of swords so no not i feel like but it's obviously the queen of swords so with this i feel like in the past you were the queen of swords queen of swords doesn't become the queen of swords like that queen of swords have um is someone that have had that like have struggled and have had those challenges so she learned for me like she she learned to be able to like on a defense um on a defense mode always like always ready with that sword to cut people off and um really be cold because she's been through a lot you can't really blame her she's been through a lot and f i feel like that's what happened to you if for, um that could be that could this could also be ego but at the same time it's like um you feel hardened and you feel cold and um how you how you speak it could be it's very truthful and it's very honest but it's like brutally honest that can, it can hurt other people that's how you became because all this because of all this that you went through um i feel like um spirit wants you to be able to soften up and um be still be truthful but um be strong but at the same time soft soft and strong combination of that that will be very very powerful because this is you in the past the queen of swords you will get um i feel like for you to be able to not get hurt you intimidate like your presence your aura you intimidate other people so um i feel like that's a defense mechanism for some of you I mean, if you intimidate first other people, they won't be able to hurt you. They won't be able to belittle you. Um, right now, I ha you are the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So, I feel like this is offers like if you've been maybe it's like if you if you want like a a change in your life like for example a career change like um job offers but at the same time or abundance whatever this represents this offer maybe it's an offer from someone romantically but you're waiting for this and i feel like it's very very slow and it's getting so delayed at the moment it's very very much delayed and the guidance for you right now is to not wait for this not wait for the offer to come from the outside for for you to be able to build it yourself because you're fully capable of that this is also for me represents ideas ideas that you haven't planted on the ground ideas that you haven't ground um that has no grounding yet you have so much ideas they're just waiting to be you just ne all you have to do is start them for it to, for you to be able to this for you to be able to have this um blessings pouring in because it's something tangible with the pentacles here it's something that you can see rewards in the physical so it's saying for you to be able to what's possible for you is for you to be able to have this clean slate with the full here um in addition to um healing your heart and forgiveness and healing yourself it's also having this fresh new start um this is like enjoying life um, taking time to in to smell the roses, the journey, living life to the fullest. 
this is um stepping into the unknown and starting whatever these ideas that you have right now because it will give you the blessings that you desire but at the same time it's saying don't because um i feel like you you still want to um even though the past is hurting you you still want to hold on to the past because that's where you feel com um your comfort zone is but saying you're ready now to um start something new and have this clean slate it's like going back to being a children like once you clear your heart from all this you've forgiven yourself forgiven other people it's like being the fool but going back to zero and starting something new again and for you to be able to do that it's planting this grounding these ideas that you have right now with the knight of pentacles in reverse I feel like this is also, it's in reverse because you are fully capable but at the same time, don't wait but at the same time, release ego because um, these um, opportunities will, will come to you in form of other situations and other people. So don't be afraid to accept help from other people. Ask and accept help from other people that's also very important here for this group and they're saying you might be prone to overworking yourself so they're just saying here they're cautioning you you won't be able to enjoy your blessings i mean your your this is a skillful perseverance you already have the skills that you need for this okay you are very good at working but sometimes you might get you might tend to overwork so that's why it's saying here take time to smell the roses enjoy the journey you're gonna get there you're gonna have this new beginning but for the meantime don't overwork yourself also so there's a balance here okay that's why this eight of discs in, is in reverse I feel like that's um, the message for you. Let's see what else. What else is the message for you for the people who pick this card? What's the guidance or what else is available? What's the blessing about? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I got so excited with this windfall of abundance. <laughs> I can't even speak properly. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. So when, when it says like this, I mean, here is Santa. So I mean, end of 2018, December, <laughs> maybe. Because here is Santa, there's Christmas here. Um, this is so perfect I mean I could have picked any card but the card with Santa that might be significant for you um, it's saying it might not come in the way that you expect it to be I mean we're going to the full here I mean you, you, you've got to take the risks okay but at the same time when you take that risk that's the action that you should take okay it's unexpected okay you don't know it's the unknown so it's a surprise what's there for you that's why it's saying this increase in abundance is also unexpected like with the fool here when the fool doesn't know like it's the unknown before the fool jumps on that and take the risks the fool doesn't know so just be open to receiving that's why I'm saying here, be open to ask and accept the help. Because this abundance might come from in the forms of other people. Don't, because um, the if you're still the, the queen of swords, you will, might tend to cut people off. Okay? But it's saying be open to receiving. And 
and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Okay? Life purpose, health, and charitable work. Whatever applies to you. Whatever is the most important for you right now. This is just maybe an opportunity, but it's abundance in any way, shape, or form. So, I mean, the card says it all already and there is a windfall of abundance that is possible to come to you if you for, um, learn to heal yourself forgive be more compassionate be more open to other people open to receiving releasing ego um, open to taking risks but at the same time um, planting your ideas in the physical and at the same time not overworking all of that those things so yeah if you need more guidance from this more specific like guidance from this um all my details are down below i love you so much and, and i'm sending you love and light and yeah so happy for you now for the people who pick card number three i'm so pumped <laughs> so so excited take a stand okay this is the guidance for you take a stand for the people who picked card number three it's time to take a stand we are no dormants here okay we, we're it's time to take a stand for me this um this represents communication also because this to me um, reminds me of the eight of wands so if you need to communicate what it is that you need what it is that you want you th that's what you ha you've got to do defend this is all about preserving your self-respect it all starts with self-respect because if you have enough self-respect you're not gonna stay in a place where it's not serving you okay and when you've got enough self-respect you're gonna be able to demand more it's all about it's connected to your self-worth because if you've got enough self-respect you're gonna um for example if you've got like business for example if you're doing a service like this you're gonna charge according to like we charge according to what we feel comfortable with so you're not gonna charge less than um in a way that it's um that that is ja damaging your self-respect and um for me I, i'm just gonna use this for example for an example you're not gonna do readings that you don't feel that um that that is not true to you like uh, for me for example i'm not gonna do readings that doesn't feel true to me and um that because that for me is damaging my self-respect and not gonna charge anything less than i feel i should so it's all it starts with your it's it all starts with self-respect you're not gonna stay in a job that is damaging your self-respect so you you're gonna know that you deserve better you deserve to achieve better and you deserve to have this abundant life so it all starts with taking a stand now that's all in the past if you've been in the past like um maybe a pushover yeah i'm um i'm like that too in the past so i mean we just all have to learn from that it's about setting boundaries now okay it's very important very strong message for you right now for you to be able to really achieve and get this um, blessings into your life get these blessings flowing into your life is for you to be able to take a stand sometimes it's what it all takes <gasps> i can't even speak when i'm so passionate like this um sometimes all it takes is standing your ground and um literally like it um i don't like the word demanding but demanding 
demanding what it is that you deserve, okay? And not let settling for less, okay? Take a stand. Let's see what the cards are. I'm just gonna pick four cards and we'll see the story and what's possibility for you, what blessings are possible your way. Fortune fairy, this is all about clearing out the karma. For me, for you, you might always be like the luck is not on your side because this is also the good luck card from this tarot deck. So you might feel like you're, you're always on the bottom of the wheel in the past. And um, you always think, when is my life going to change? I'm always at the bottom of the wheel. But the thing is, it all it will all going to balance out. Uh, when you be able to learn the lessons that you need to learn from this um, um, experience. For example, you might suffer the abuse. But if you really look at that, what what um what the lessons that is that it's trying to teach you is for you to be able to um learn self-respect and take a stand if, so this is in the past okay you feel like you're very unlucky probably for some of you now and you probably blamed like universe or like the outside blame other people and complain but you probably didn't do anything. You probably just, um, even though you probably kept complaining every day, like why my life is like this, you didn't do anything to be able to get out of that, which means simply taking a stand that I'm not gonna take shit no more. I mean, <laughs> uh, I feel like you, I um, hope you're getting what I mean. Where you're currently at right now. There might be, you might have um, suffered pain, 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 <laughs> because um, the heartbreak card, the three of swords is trying to come out and I feel guided to look at this um, eight of swords. Remember, if you feel stuck right now with this eight of swords, it's all your mental thoughts it's all your thoughts okay you might feel stuck and imprisoned within your own thoughts within your own this is all your inner critic okay there's an imbalance within your mind your mental state and that's why you don't feel stable enough in your life right now there's something that you're refusing to see this could be self-denial also Okay, maybe it could be self denial. You you might might say, I'm not suffering. It's not that it's it's fine and and um as long as I'm getting this amount of money or, I mean they're they're good to me. I mean, who are you kidding? Really, you might feel like they're manipulating you or using you, but you you you're letting that happen. So that's self denial also. Because you might think, oh, there, you might always see the good within each people, even those people that are using you for their gains, and you're like, I mean, you un you you understand them, okay? In your attempt to be understanding, you are damaging yourself, okay? You might um justify the wrong deeds of other people because of that. See, at the moment, there are other opportunities that you're refusing to see. There, I feel like this is um, actually, this is what you have in front of you right now, okay? But there's an opportunity here from the universe that you're refusing to see. That's why this is a cup. Um, it might take a lot of, it might take some risk on your part. Or you might feel fear to be able to go towards that because you feel stuck mentally. But the, the universe is saying there's this opportunity that they're trying to offer you but you're, you're not seeing it because you're so focused on what you have right now. Okay. 
that's where you currently are at right now that's why these blessings are not coming your way because you're blocking your you're refusing it what else is the possibility for you blessings queen of pentacles in reverse this is i feel like caring about the image that you have because um she's looking at like a mirror using the pentacle as a mirror so you don't feel balanced enough with this queen of pentacles what else is the possibility of blessings sometimes all you have to do is um take a stand then um release yourself from any burden and uh, the opportunities the the blessings are welcome pouring in this the blessings for you that's coming before 2018 ends before this year ends is they're giving you an opportunity to get out of the situation that's not serving you anymore okay so but then the universe is like it's up to you if you're gonna grab the, the this opportunity that's the best blessing because i feel like the blessing it's more than just it's more than just um, um material gains tangible rewards for you it's freedom it's inner peace that's the blessing that's coming your way the possibility that you can have yeah because the queen of pentacles is all about someone that is financially secure and balanced and um as i feel like you are a very nurturing person so you, you like giving and you like giving to other people but you might be giving to the the people that are manipulating you that are that don't have their best in, um they don't have your best interest in their mind okay because the seven of swords is like being deceptive also but you you have a chance to be able to um move away from this now to um achieve your freedom okay this is about the sneaking out energy so you might be the one that is sneaking out okay Um, for me, I feel like this is like outsmarting the other people, outsmarting them. And finally be able to gain your freedom, whatever it is, whatever shape or form that is. But that's freedom, personal freedom. Nothing can beat that. When people say like, what do you want to have in your life? Happiness. They don't really mean like happiness, happiness. They mean freedom okay because we're in freedom that's where you're gonna get your happiness i feel like happiness is just um a product of a byproduct of being having this having personal freedom okay so that's really what i'm seeing here being financial free also you might be worried about your image that's what i'm i'm seeing here and um you, I feel like for some of you, you just want to be appreciated. You just want to be accepted by the people around you. But it's also saying here, take the stand. And um, you don't, you should not get disapproval from other people. Because it's like, um, it's like trying to get water from an empty well. <laughs> and it doesn't make sense <laughs> even that analogy doesn't make sense so it's how absurd it is that you when um when you're seeking approval from other people and appreciation because um that should come from your own self appreciate yourself when you appreciate yourself it doesn't matter what other people think and how people view you and see you because you feel free here so yeah let's see what else is available for you
before 2018 ends. Hmm. Very interesting. Before 2018 ends, face your financial fears. Okay, face your fears. I was talking about fears and it could very well be related to finances because we have here the um the pentacle card with the queen of pentacles now you might be in a connection in a relationship that is not serving you anymore like a marriage because it's secure and you don't want to get away from that because it's secure okay you, it's stable for you but it's saying here you gotta take the risk you've gotta take your face your financial fears when you are honest with yourself yes i was talking about possible self-denial here when you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. Face your fears, basically. Not just financial, but for most of you, it is financial. Face your fears so that it will no longer control you. Once you're going to be able to face your fears, you're going to realize... Oh, it's not a, it's not that big of a, of a deal. That's what you're gonna realize because that's what I realized when I faced my fears. I was like, I didn't know why I took so long to be able to do this. It's as simple as make this video, um, for me. So I don't and and now that I'm making this video, I'm enjoying it. I'm having this channel and I'm making videos. But I was so scared at first because it's in the unknown, it is taking risks and I might success or I might fail. But I mean, we don't banish those fears. I still have those fears, but I don't let them control me because I face my fears. So you can do it also. If I can do it, you can do it with any, any, with anything, any fear. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you realize that you in fact have nothing to fear. And that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. Okay? Self-doubts. I'm also getting here that don't worry so much about money. I mean money is important f for your freedom. Okay? Feeling free. But at the same time, what's the most valuable thing that you won't get back? Even though you lose money, you 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 will be able to get back money. But that's one thing that you won't be able to get back when you lose it is time. Okay? Time. You already suffered enough and it might be it might have took you so much time how much more time you're gonna be able to waste okay so I mean if you want to live your life now decide to live your life now and take a stand that's the blessings that's coming your way you're clearing this karma there's opportunities right there in front of you that you're not seeing because you're not facing fears. And yeah, that's the reading for you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I'm sending you love and light. And um, more. Um, if you need more guidance, all my details are down below. Okay? Okay, number four. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to make this fun for me. Mm, interesting. Number four, people. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take anything for granted. This is about being honest with yourself. Being honest with your truth being honest with you, with the path that you're in right now okay wherever you are 
if you're close to success, if you're not close to, to success, if you're just starting out, be honest. Don't take anything for granted. There are small blessings. If you haven't achieved your goal, there are small blessings along the way that you might be taking for granted. That's why it's saying here, don't take anything for granted. Look at this person. I feel like he's focused on this goal, on this sword, that she's not seeing this like beautiful spirit, spirit here. I don't know. I feel like this represents the blessings along the path, along the path and along the way. Sometimes blessings keeps coming our way, whether it's the end of 2018 or not. Blessings keeps coming our way, but sometimes we're just too busy, too busy to notice those blessings and to be grateful for the blessing that keeps coming your way. Okay, so you might be um, picking this um, click, you might have clicked in this pick a card thinking, what blessings are coming my way? But they're saying, look around you. It might not be what you expect, but every day, every single day, there's blessings. Whether it's as simple as missing, um, missing a meeting with, um, for example, um, this what I'm getting is like missing a meeting that you hate, <laughs> like as simple as that. Not being able to attend that meeting because it's it snowed that day and you feel lucky. I feel like that's a blessing because you don't have to deal with that. So don't take anything for granted. There's blessing every day. So that's what is they're trying to say. But let's see what else is coming your way. I'll pick four cards, okay? From each deck. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting um trying to conceive a baby, so for some of you it's that. What else? Ooh the lovers, choices, union, spiritual connection, so mid coming, so mid coming in. For some of you that's coming in with the page of pentacles. What else? The magician. Interesting. This is being able to manifest your desires. Every, everything, anything that you want. What else is possible? The chariot card. Agent of change in reverse. Okay. Okay, let's see. I feel like for the people who pick this card number four, you might be more on your masculine side of yourself. And it, I feel like universe wants you to move into more feminine side of yourself on more being accepting and passive. Um, more receiving, more open to receiving this abundant blessings because there's blessings every day that's what they want to emphasize okay so in the past we have the seven of pentacles in reverse as i said this is trying to conceive for some people but that's for only a specific few um maybe that's only for one person but this is also about waiting around for things to come. Maybe you're so focused on waiting for blessings that you don't realize that the blessings are in front of you. 
look around. <laughs> that's that's what I keep on getting from this reading. Look around you. How do you think you're able to you you're able to have like the simple luxuries like having the Wi-Fi, having YouTube, having that phone to be able to watch pick a card reading anytime you want and receive this guidance for free. That's already a blessing receiving this guidance right now so yeah you might be so focused on waiting that you're not seeing because your eyes are closed you focus so focus on praying um you're not seeing the blessings that is already within you like this baby here that's already within you <laughs> literally inside of you this um whatever this is doesn't mean to be literally a baby but project the trying to be conceived within you develop fertilize <laughs> fertilize within you um right now you're in a point of your life that you're gonna make a decision okay and i feel like the blessing for right now for to talk before 2018 ends for the people who pick card number four is that you have an important decision to make because this decision that you're gonna make right now before 2018 ends will be able to change the trans trajectory wow <laughs> why am i getting those words trajectory of your life for 2018 okay because we have here the sun and we have your spiritual guidance. You're spiritually guided to do this. This could be union for some. This could just be literally partnership. Okay? Meeting your soulmate. If you're looking, waiting for that. Don't focus on waiting. They're saying don't focus on waiting. Maybe your soulmate already came into your life. And you already know your soulmate. But you're so focused on waiting. Like, nope. My, my soulmate is gonna come right there um <laughs> in my life but maybe it already came and you're not seeing it okay look around you <laughs> and then we have a page of pentacles in reverse so i mean these ideas you haven't started in planning on ide on these ideas because you haven't made the decision yet so you're gonna make the decision yet okay you've got to be balanced enough to be able to make this decision though that's what they're saying also now the opportunity and the blessing for you is the magician you are the mani uh, manifester okay manifesting whatever it is that you desire you have the power okay Sometimes blessings not coming your way because you've got to manifest it. You've got to attract it. You've got to be balanced. Okay? You can um your limit maybe you're limiting yourself. Maybe you're expecting a certain goal, a certain reward, but it's saying it's limitless. You can manifest anything you want. The possibilities are limitless. Okay? That's why there's not much change in your life because you're meant to be the agent of change, okay? You've got to be on the um, the front seat of your life. Not, the, not on the back seat of your life, not letting other people control you. You are meant to be the magician and will control your life, control the trajectory of your life and manifest this, okay? this something this new beginning okay so you're gonna be able to start fresh start new 2019 okay blessings are all around you and the main blessing that you have is that you can manifest anything that you want you're powerful enough so take back your power you're the magician here okay what it is that you want okay you might not be able to move forward right now because you've got to make this decision at this present moment 
And once you make the decision, you're going to be able to plant these ideas into the reality, into the physical. But you've you've got this um. You've got in the you're in the point of your life that you can manifest anything. You focus on what you focus on expands. So make sure that you focus on that you're being honest with yourself, not taking anything for granted. Be honest with yourself that this is really what you want. Okay, this dream that you have, this goal that you have, be honest with yourself. Is this goal what you really want, or is this dream that you're trying to fulfill for other people? Okay, is this really your dream? And um, f what you focus on, if you focus on negativity, that's what you're going to attract in your life. But if you focus on the good things, the positivity, you know, what all your desires, that's what you're going to attract in your life because it's very, you're a magnet here. Okay, that's what, that's your blessing basically right what else is the guidance for you what else is this about ooh look at that sword man holding a sword and um an angel holding a sword. I don't know why I'm thinking of Saint Michael. It pro it's probably Saint Michael. If not, um, <laughs> then it's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's something about the sword and being honest with yourself, being honest with what you really want. Okay, is this what you think about? You've got to make a decision. Is this what you really want? All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. Okay, uh, yeah, I was talking about positive energy with this magician card. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered. Yeah, you're going to be able to progress with this the, once, you, once you become the agent of change in your life, the chariot, take, taking back your power, you're going to be able to progress. This might, I feel like this might start in around 2019, start of 2019, but for now, obstacles and blocks are being lifted and it's all about manifesting, attracting, okay, the end of 2018 for you. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude. 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 <laughs> Stay centered in gratitude. Gratitude. To ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Okay? Stay centered in gratitude. And what does this say? Don't take anything for granted. So we went back to the start of the reading, which is gratitude. I mean, I love that this is like so flowing. Okay, gratitude is the key. Because if you focus on the things that you want, the things that you already have, it will expand. You focus on your blessings and you, you're you thankful of your blessings, you will get more blessings. That's basically it. Simple. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Love and light to you. And yeah, thank you. <laughs>